Hi, everybody. Hey, Jen. <laughs> my, my, oh my god, I'm so excited. I love the Youth Summit. Um, my name is Jen, and I'm the Director of Programs for the, youth, for the Youth Climate Summit and for the Wild Center. And I'm really, really pleased to welcome you all here today for our seventh, I can't believe it's been seven years, seventh Adirondack Youth Climate Summit. Um, we have schools from across the country this year, um, as far away as Vermont, New York City, New Orleans, and Seattle. Um, the Wild Center, we've been hosting this conference um, for the last seven years because we are completely committed to helping this generation take the initiative and create a just and sustainable future. As with all of our climate change related work, we never quite know what's going to happen when we get all this amazing energy in the room. We bring you together and convene the conversation as we like to say, but something is always unexpected and, and interesting comes out of this. And you'll see over the next two days the incredible amount of amazing um, uh, brain power that's here, the innovation that is happening in schools and in communities, and, um, and hopefully you'll learn so much from your, each other. Um, as it turns out, we are not the only ones present here today. Um, you may notice in the back of the room there's a camera, and we are actually live streaming our keynote, keynote sessions um, out to the world. So let's just turn around and say, hi, world. Hi, world. Hi, mom. <laughs> Um, over the last few years, students like you have come together, not just here at the Wild Center, but everywhere around the world, to make incredible gains in the fight against climate change. We had no idea seven years ago that we would be part of this incredible movement, and youth are the most part, important part of this. The Wild Center has done a lot of climate-related work, but this is certainly, um, for me, the uh, most inspiring because all the, of the young leaders that I've um, been working with and that I, I know I'm going to meet here today and over the next couple of days, you don't um, have a sense that it can't be done, that we can't win this fight and we are, we're, we are going to win. I want to make a special recognition to all of the summiteers um, that I, that's who I affectionately call the group of students that have been working to plan this conference. So if you could all stand up and you know who you are. <laughs> stand up, you guys. Stand up, stand up, stand up. <laughs> So these guys have been working, um, this is just a, I, you know, they move so quickly I can't actually get them to stand still for a photo. So this is only a fraction of the um, amazing group of students that have been working really hard to plan this summit. Um, and they um, have been coming from uh, Governor, Tupper Lake, Saranac Lake, Lake Placid, um, Keene. Did I miss anybody? I think I got them. Um, anyway, so they, they are an amazing group. We've been meeting every Sunday for the last like eight weeks for like three or four hours. Um, we've been coming here on the weekends. They've been working at home. We've been traveling places. It's, it's been incredible. So I'm, I'm really grateful for them. I also want to do a huge shout out to our sponsors, of which we could not actually do the summit without them. So um, let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you for um, helping us eat, helping us get here. Like, it's awesome. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you, thank you. Um, I also want to do a shout out to someone who's really um, been important to me and has been a part of the Youth Climate Summit um, for the last six years, right in the very beginning, Brother Yusuf. Um, how many of you remember Brother Yusuf? He, um, so n many of you didn't get the opportunity to, to know him, but he actually, uh, he passed away last December, shortly after the Youth Climate Summit, um, and he made it his life's work to bring kids outside and connect them with nature. He was larger than life and uh, taught me a lot about being out in the world and um, certainly about being with students and, and, and being and like, getting outside and feeding your spirit and feeding your soul and like and being there for the earth, really. I mean, he was incredible. He was always like, Jen, we are going to change the world. And I'm going to keep doing that in his memory. So thanks. <laughs> OK, so on, um, sorry, I did miss him. Um, so the other really cool thing that's happening today is that um, at 10 o'clock, um, we're launching a massive social media campaign. And this um, has been a huge amount of work um, with all of the different organizations you see along the bottom of this 
um, slide, uh, NOAA, the Department of Energy, the Association of Science Technology Centers, which oversees the 3,000 science centers around the world, um, CLEAN, the Wild Center, Connect for Climate, which is the youth program of the World Bank, Climate Generation, the Alliance for Climate Generation, who's in the house today, um, the Earth Day Network and the Climate Interactive. And so um, at 10 a.m. today, uh, we're going to have a post on the White House um, Office of Science and Technology Policy blog um, about this massive social media campaign. So for all of you with your, um, uh, uh, you know, following us, we're going to be using the hashtag Youth for Climate. Post photos of yourselves. Um, put it out there. We're, we're going to try to make this big. It's going to, it launches today, and it will go through December 12th um, through the end of the, um, the COP21 um, Paris climate talks, um, which um, we hope for uh, lots of good things to happen. So, um, so please, please, please use the hashtag Youth for Climate. And now I'm going to invite up Natalie from Serena Creek. Hello, everyone. My name is Natalie, and I'm a senior from Saranac Lake High School. Taking action is important because we are the first generation to see the effects of climate change, and we're the last generation that can do anything to fix it. Recognizing that climate change is the biggest problem of our generation is crucial, and everyone sitting here is taking great strides toward a cleaner world. We are part of the generation that has the best chance to fix the problems that we didn't create but see the effects of daily. We all have seen the first-hand effects of climate change, from decreasing amounts of snow to hurricanes flooding our streets. Now, more than ever, it is important for us to work together and achieve real change. This is an incredibly unique experience, one that we hope you take seriously. We are giving you resources here. Network with other students as much as possible, because this is the best way to share your ideas and grow this critical movement. Over the next two days, we hope to inspire you and prepare you to take climate actions in your schools and communities. The summit is just the beginning. There are numerous opportunities around the year to stay active, and a lot of people are willing to help you, including the majority of the people in this room. Now it is your responsibility to stay motivated, focused, and to make change in order to save your home. Thank you. So um, I just wanted to give you a quick shout out to all the schools that made the trek. Look around this room. I want you to actually just take a minute, um, turn around, look next to you, find someone you haven't met before, and introduce yourselves. Okay, awesome, bring it back, bring it back. <laughs> bring it back. Okay, that's awesome. Let's bring it back. You'll have plenty of time to get to meet people. I really encourage you to make lots of new friends. And, um, you know, at lunch, go chat with people. There's breakout sessions. There's all sorts of places where you can meet people. And I, and I really encourage you to get to know all the amazing people that are in the room from all over the place. Um, so as I mentioned already, we're, we are also live streaming, and we're streaming right outside the, um, the theater too, so if you want to, you can, you know, watch it on your cell phone out there, but you can also um, check it out on um, the big screen that's right outside the theater. Um, social media and cell phones are welcome to have your phones on. Please have them muted, and I just ask you to, you know, respect the speakers when you're in session, but please, you know, follow us on, join and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It, please, um, we'd love for you to share this widely. Um, the workshops I'm going to talk about in just a minute. We have lots of cool interactives. So um, there's a bingo game, which you should have gotten when you um, came in the door. You get really cool prizes if you complete that. It's another great, great way to meet people. There's a mountain out in the center, and there's a snowflake station, which is, has the directions on it right outside the theater. There's a Youth Summit graffiti board, a magnetic poetry board, and a, the Climate Ribbon Project are over by the, um, the lean-to. There's a really cool photo booth that's in the Alpine pine exhibit that's take a right at the glacier I love saying that just take a right at that glacier um, so so please um, also explore the museum um, well it'll be open during um, all the exhibits will be on during lunchtime um, 
on both days, and so you can, and, and also in the morning when you come in. So it would be really great if you could um, take a look around and check out all the cool stuff. The otters, I think, will be out at lunch. Go otters. Food. We're all wondering about the food. So we try really hard to, um, and it's hard up here in, in the North Country to keep it local, but we try to make it local. So we have a map out there, so check that out. Um, as I mentioned, you can wander around and eat lunch. Um, please bring your stuff up um, and bus it. Um, we tried to give everybody mason jars. There should be enough for every person in this room. Um, so uh, please put your name on that. And there's a rinse station. We're trying to minimize waste as much as possible. Um, please take only what you can eat and then just come back for a second. We have plenty. Um, composting and recycling. Thank you to a big shout out to North Country School for taking all of our compost and for Casella Waste Systems for all the zero sort stuff. So woohoo! Yay! <laughs> Oh yeah, so the ribbon project, I just wanted to point this out. So that's over by the lean-to as you walk towards the glacier. And, um, and so we are going to take those ribbons to Paris with us. There's going to be a huge um, uh, installation in Paris, all, all the climate ribbons. It's really about um, uh, writing down what you hope you never to lose because of climate change. So uh, I hope you'll participate in that. And we're going to bring those ribbons in our suitcase. Okay. The agenda. So um, there's, we're going to be here in the theater for the next little while for our first two sessions. Then we'll have a short break and head right to our workshops. We ask, we have five workshops that are happening at the same time. We ask that your teams break, divide, and conquer. So please try to send no more than one or two students to each of the um, workshops. Otherwise, we won't have space. We plan it this way. So there's plenty of space for everybody. So please, um, we've got some amazing, amazing speakers here, and I'm so grateful to all of them. Let's give them a shout out. Woo! I mean, it is awesome. This lineup is, is just unbelievable. Um, we'll be back in here after lunch at 1 o'clock for a, uh, another plenary session and then um, back out into the, um, the, main, um, the main workshop sessions. So just so you know, Wild Supply Company is out. That's the one right in front of the store. If you go, um, the theater is here, obviously. Uh, if you go to the glacier and make a right, you'll get to Planet Adirondack, with, which is the room with the big sphere, or um, the... Uh, the find out forest, which is the huge room in the center, and then the, if you go to the glacier and make a left, then they'll take you to the naturalist, uh, naturalist cabinet. And you can ask any of the staff or um, anybody in a tie-dye t-shirt, and they can help you find where you need to go. Okay. And then finally, at the end of the day, we'll be back here in the theater for the, um, the, the last plenary session. So now I'd like to invite up uh, Jack and Amanda. Hi guys, my name is Amanda and I am from Keene Central School. We are on the Adirondack Youth Climate Summit Steering Committee. I first became active in the fight against climate change when I saw firsthand its effects during Tropical Storm Irene. In 2011, Irene devastated my community and opened my eyes to our, un our unnaturally changing world. And I'm Jack from Lake Placid High School. We would like to welcome you to the Wild Center, home of the 2015 Adirondack Youth Climate Summit. I am here because I love to ski, and many other of my favorite outdoor activities are directly threatened by climate change. We are a part of the student representatives that have been working diligently over the past year to organize this summit. Jack and I also went to Miami for Al Gore's climate reality leadership training. We are very excited to see the next two days unfold. It is quite encouraging to see such large numbers in attendance, over 200 students from roughly 35 schools. We may not like to think about it, but as students, we spent over half our lives in the school building, and creating ch change there would significantly reduce our personal carbon footprint and the carbon footprint of all students. A main goal of the Youth Summit is to create a climate action plan that is a blueprint to guide your team towards reducing carbon in your, in your schools and communities through actions and activities that you create. We hope that after the summit, you will use your climate action plans to make a real difference. But here are the really interesting numbers. In case it's too early to add in your head, that means that all of you will start or continue a process redu of reducing your carbon footprint that impacts over 25,000 people. Wow, that was quite a number. And that can mean a real difference um, in change. We are part of a collective movement, and to change, we need everyone everywhere. We encourage you to learn something new, expand your horizons, and above all, have fun. And now we begin. 
you're in for a treat because I'd like to introduce our first speaker, Tem Bless, an environmental hip hop artist. Bless was born in West Africa and became and came to New Bedford, Massachusetts when he was just a few years old. Growing up in New England, it did not take Tem long to fall in love with hip-hop. Before he even took the stage, the artist within him was already born. Coming up as a young artist, Tem Bless was inspired by more than just a great sound. He stood strong to ideals like intelligence and integrity. His idea was to build something constructive as opposed to being destructive. A positive message sounded throughout Tem's work as he developed a philosophy that, sh that shed his way from some of the negative stereotypes associated with hip-hop. Slick Rick, Dougie Fresh were two artists who inspired Tem to write his first rhyme. He also looked up to other artists including The Tribe Called Quest, Black Star, Wu-Tang Clan, Dead Prez, The Fugees, and Common. Seeing hip-hop change and evolve throughout the years, Tem wanted to concentrate on making the world a better place. That led him to go green and lobby for a more sustainable world in addition to a better future for all of our children. Tem believes that in the music industry, sex, drugs, and violence catch headlines for all the wrong reasons. That's why he wanted to something more for his place in the world of hip-hop. With more and more new hip-hop artists losing sight of the importance that comes with sending a message. Tem keeps his music inspiring as well as energizing. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Make some noise for Jack, y'all, for introducing him. Yes, 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 yes. All right, good morning. When I say youth, you say summit. Youth. Summit. Youth. Summit. When I say youth, youth, y'all say summit, summit. Youth, youth. Summit. Youth, youth. Future's in doubt, the moment is now. We gotta make a change, every city, every town. Disappearing glaciers, hurricanes, and drought. We gotta make a change, I'll show you how. I said the future's in doubt, the moment is now. We gotta make a change, every city, every town. Disappearing glaciers, hurricanes, and drought. We gotta make a change, I'll show you how. Make some noise for yourselves, y'all. Yes. It's great to be here once again, man. I really am um, thankful for Jen and the folks here at the Wild Center for inviting me back to remind you all of the amazing and powerful work that you all are currently doing and need to do as you leave this conference, right? My charge, my intention in coming up here and speaking to all of you is to just remind you of this power that you all have, remind you of this responsibility that you all have to tap into your passion, to tap into your strength, tap into your spirit, right? And to really change this world. We have to, we have no choice, right? Because right now there's people that are dreaming some big nightmares. You know, all you gotta do is turn on the TV screen. All you gotta do sometimes is step outside your house. Or maybe it's even inside your house, right? But we gotta dream bigger. We gotta make these dreams time, times them times 10, times 20. Because if not, we're doomed. And we know that now is the time. We can't wait. We can't wait anymore, right? And that's why you all are here. You didn't just magically appear here, right? There was, there was a little bit maybe of a struggle to get here, right? You had to decide to be here. You made a choice to be here. Maybe a little nudging, you know, from someone saying, hey, come along. Right? But you came here with an intention, with a purpose. So now is the time to tap into that. So I say generation. Yeah. Now is the time, take action. Yeah. It's your time to shine, generation. Now, now is the time, take action. Now, your time to shine. They say it's hot to organize around science. I say atmospheric chemistry, you say silence, cause he's bored, she yawns, I'm ignored, I'm gone, you're like, Psst, what was that for? But let's examine this challenge that we've been handed. Previous generations left us stranded, the bandit, now I can't stand it. The CO2's like a hot blanket around a cool planet, polar ice caps melted. Polar bears will soon vanish, you don't care? You're a buffoon, kid, that's me being candid. 
Honestly, smart people know it's all connected. If you use your common sense and logic, then you're bound to get it hectic. Yeah, yeah, the future's getting hectic. He's like, dude, he's rude, man. I'm feeling disrespected. Like, hectic? Yeah, yeah, the future's getting hectic. Mother Nature's the one. I don't want to disrespect. Kid, word, say word. Just the tip of the iceberg. Category five hurricane, not a nice word. Katrina, FEMA, climate change, Hiroshima. We can build a brighter future. Now you label me a dreamer. They might say that I'm a dreamer, but I know I ain't the only one. I'm golden, son. Solar powered with a golden tongue. I'm hoping, son, we'll come together and overcome. This climate crisis is affecting everyone. Like one, two, one, two, what we gonna do? Change the way that we live in, cause we need to. I'm talk about changing your lifestyle. It sounds wild, but I guarantee that it'll be worth your while. Now with your one Rin, where to begin? Let your boy Tim Bless break down the top ten. Like one creation, LEDs in ovation. Those old light bulbs replaced him. Two, unplug your stuff when they're not being used. Cell phone charges of vampires, dude. Three, buy green, buy less, buy local, buy fresh, buy organic, and yes, buy bless. Four, be aware of what you wear. <laughs> You got 14 sneakers, do you need another pair? Like five or six, I'll throw you in the mix. I say reduce, reuse, you say? Recycle. That's it, seven. Get off of the water that's bottled. You ought to use them reusable with filter tap water. Like eight, to reiterate, eat local. A garden started, a shop at the farmer's market. Nine, it's about time to cut some carbon off. At least one day of the week, bike, bus, or walk. 10, tell your family and friends, put out the word and help them comprehend generation. You say now, now is the time, take action. You say now, now. your time to shine generation. Now. now is the time, take action. Now, your time to shine, yeah. Make some noise out there, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so it, it, the time is now to tap into your passion, right? And for you all, you all have different passions. So who, where's, where's the athletes at? Where's any football players passionate about football? Make some noise. How about basketball? All right, how about volleyball? How about soccer? All right, yeah, I love soccer too. How about the, how about the scientists? Where are the scientists at? Make some noise. Where are the mathematicians? The astronomers? Yeah, wait, mathematicians, y'all are too quiet. All right, how about the musicians? Where's the musicians? The artists, the visual artists? Yes, the dancers. Gotta have some dancers out there. The visionaries, right? The poets, the MCs, the singers. So we need each and every one of you, right, to tap into that strength, that passion. Right, for me it's hip hop, right? I love hip hop, I came up in hip hop, right? I'm from New Bedford, Massachusetts, and hip hop embraced me. Like my, my bio said, I was born in Guinea-Bissau, Cape Verdean, right? Island, an island nation that is suffering, con gonna continue to suffer because we know the sea levels are rising. And they're gonna continue to rise, right? Even if, we, even if we stop doing and putting up carbon into the atmosphere the way that we have been doing for decades, even if we stop now, these effects are gonna be felt. Never mind if we don't do something sooner, right? And I got excited about the sustainability thing because it tapped into one of my passions, right? So when I think of sustainability, I think of the environment, right, ecology. So four E's. So the environment, ecology, we, we talk also about the economy, right? So the way that we're, you know, running this money thing, this wealth thing is affecting the way that our, our planet is, is working, right? Education. Right, putting out the word, which is what you all are charged to do. Your responsibility is to go back and tell people what the, what you've learned from here, right? And then also equity, right? So that fairness, that need for things to be just, because we know there's a lot of injustice. And for me, that's what excited me about hip hop. You know, is the fact that I could grab this mic and use it for something more than telling you about buying some rims or some chains or some nonsense, right? to write really moving people, moving the spirits, right? And so, you know, I want you to understand that we have a lot of challenges, and part of the challenges that we have is all connected. It's connected to, to what's going on in Syria, right? It's connected to what's going on in East LA. It's connected with what's going on in Antarctica. We know that, right? 
And so it's connected to what's going on in our, in our inner city streets. So for me, I got attacked by the police, right? So everything that you're seeing in the news, that's real. You know, just like some people that are denying that, hey, this climate thing isn't real, you know, it's not really getting warm. Come on, man, right? It's all connected, you know? And so when I was attacked by the police, thank God I'm a positive brother, you know? <laughs> and I kept it real positive, and thank God I had the community behind me, right, to support me. You know, but I always wanted to say to those folks, you know, are you afraid of my skin or of what's within? Because beyond this living sunlight, this melanin is a millennium of intelligent gentlemen, godlike, the opposite of Zimmerman, strong like Trayvon Martin, we can't fight. We stand our ground till it's all right. But this long night never seems to end, although we speak to make you understand we bend, we compromise. But what about our black lives? Did Michael Brown really need to die over some cigaritos? Where are the superheroes? Over Lucy's, where are the Bruce Lee's? Sandra Bland over cigarettes? Damn. When I was younger, I thought my heroes were the cops until I got stopped and then I got dropped. So then my heroes became the Black Panthers. Lack of justice turns to black anger. The system will strangle you. I can't breathe. Oh, say, can you see? Eric Gardner couldn't breathe. We all saw the videotape, there's no debate. Broken system of hate wants me to wait. Sorry, Charlie, but my patience is long gone. Plus, I'm way too black and way too strong. And we got white allies by our side. Take out police brutality like apartheid in this long walk. We march with Mandela, Dr. King and Selma through the Mississippi Delta. We march with Malcolm X, Harriet Tubman. We march with Rosa Parks, I see freedom coming. We march with Frederick Douglass, Garvey and Carney, with my ancestors behind me. They can't harm me, not the National Guard, nor the Army. March non-violently, cloaked by the words of Gandhi. Break these chains of racism, emancipated. I'm the master, because black lives matter. Break these chains of racism, emancipated. I'm the master, because black lives matter. So we know all lives matter, right? Yeah. And we know black lives matter, right? Yeah. Yeah, so make some noise for y'all for getting that. Yes, indeed. Yeah. It's important to be allies, to connect with one another on this. And so, you know, for me, that's my charge, right? It's to wake you up, make you feel a little uncomfortable. I remind my partners in rhyme all the time. You know, we're not just here. Music isn't just to have a good time, which is necessary. I love having a good time. Celebration is great. But also, to wake something up within you, right? So I say awake, meditate, time to set it straight. Break those habits that will seal your fate. Creative, magic, meta marinate, find peace to increase. Music soothes the beast, every time there's a beat, I'm a rhyme. Be intertwined with the divine ways of speaking, eating, teaching, living with the people, listen. Man, women, a child are given the breath. Everyone is blessed, a piece of God's spark rest in your chest, more or less, less is more. Inside lives a universe, be brave, explore, you gotta fight for your right. Use your inner might, connect to the source light, source of all life, force of a trillion suns times everything and everyone. You are the chosen one, golden orbs orbit your inner sun, inner sun, inner sun. My people, people, we got work to do. Uh, yeah, start inside of you, yeah. It's all you gotta do, uh, yeah, just be the real you. Right, so we need you to be the real you, to be present, to be here, to be now, to spread this information. And for me, it wasn't just, um, I didn't just come up with this, right? I didn't just wake up and say like, oh, I wanna be a sustainable MC, right? I went to, <laughs> I went to a, a, a conference, right? I was just like, you know, digging into all the social justice stuff, which at times made me mad, but I'm like, man, I, you know, nature brings so much peace to me, you know, music and, and nature connects you to something that's bigger, bigger than us, right? And I, and I felt that. And I went to a conference called Connected for Change, similar to this, and I got all this information, and I was like, wow, this is blowing my mind. I have a responsibility as an MC to do something about it. I gotta inform my family, my community, the world, put it on a record, put it on wax, spin it, right? Put in a video, because I know that I am the bee. Pollinate truth if you choose to see. Pollinate the youth to truly be free. Pollinate love, let's all agree. 
I am the bee. Yeah, keystone species, we need these bees, honey. They pollinate most of the things you eat, funny. They do this for free, without a fee. Billions in produce produced nationally. Now millions of bees have abandoned their hives. If they disappear in four years, human race will die. That's a quote from the famous scientist Einstein. It's logical to anyone with half a mind, man. It's horrible where you think you're gonna run and hide. It's possible for us to combine and stop these lives. Respect all lives, wherever it resides. Whether plant, algae, bacteria, or fungi, that's right. It's time for us to vocalize. Cause if the bees die, then we too die, that's right. It's it's time for us to strategize, cause if the bees die, then we too die. I am the bee. Pollinate truth if you choose to see. Pollinate the youth to truly be free. Pollinate love, let's all agree. I am the bee. Say I am the bee. I am the bee. Say I am the bee. I am the bee. Say I am the bee. I am the bee. Say I am the bee. I am the bee. Word up. All right, make some noise out there, y'all. So speaking of my, the bees, right, these are my boys, right? I and I, Soja and Rasta, I gave them some stage ready names, right? They're ready to go. <laughs> but you know, they're amazing, they love soccer, they love all that, all that good stuff. And, um, and I wrote a song to them, man, and it's a song dedicated to all of you also at the same time. But they can't be here, so I need some, some, stunt, some stunt doubles. Right, to come up and represent. Because it's basically like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna serenade y'all. All right, so I got you, I got you, so come on up. I gotta get my man Nick up here. Nick's gonna be I and I, I they come up here. And uh, what's up, Jack? All right, all right, what's up, my brother, what's your name? Just, Justin, yes, Jack. Good, good, good to see you again. Yeah, love Justin, y'all. <laughs> all right, so let's get into the song, man. You're gonna, you're gonna be I and I, man. You're gonna be my firstborn. Yeah. <laughs> come come up here, Nick. Don't yeah. don't bring me down. Don't take me down. No, you can just, you can just stand up, babe. Don't <laughs> don't bring me down. Listen to this out to you. Yeah. Let's turn it up just a little bit. Don't yeah. tell me you Y'all can clap it. Clap to me, y'all. It's only just begun. Don't yeah. tell me it's just begun, y'all. It's only just begun. Don't tell me you're yes, sir. Yeah, I love these kids. I love you all, man. Yeah. I, I and I, first time I lay my eyes on you. Eternal sunshine, divine skin. You tiny toes, wide nostrils, little fingers. It gave me the shivers, cause son, you the realest feeling that I ever felt. Good God, give thanks to the cause that never fell. And I promise to go above and beyond this. Fighting the monsters that are greedy and dishonest and the real son. And they don't live under the bed, son. They live on Wall Street and they speak deception and feed on the poor. Promote and restore. We teach to restore. Love a more young prince. Soon you grow to be a wise king. Benevolent, doing just and right. This thing is evident that you haven't sent in here to represent. Prevent the destruction of the earth. What an accomplishment. Say some words for me. AKA I and I. Your side. All right. So we got my man over here, Justin. Justin. And that's Soldier, right? Soldier can do backflips. Reserve. Can you do backflips, Justin? Because I want to see you on backflips. Can you do backflips? You can all do that. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, that's all good. Yeah. My second born, lesson number two, two. Soldier, love, love. Be the true, true. Be the Black Panther, let loose. You the answer, you the proof. Backflips, your gymnastics is Jurassic. You a big kid, potential of the classics. Futuristic gifts that are massive. Intuitive, mystic, free the masses. Free the people, wingspan of the eagle. Fight to make it equal, cause no human is illegal. Your looks are lethal, lightning striking cathedral. Confounding and fast position. Be the hero, be the beetle, a rolling stone. Build your throne, be the sequel. Build a nation, call it home, climb the steeple. Be a rich.
Armin Ra, strength of the star, speed of the Kami, you travel far. Boom like the Sony, beat the Avatar, boom, boom like the Lotus, we call it Ra. Ra, eye of Horus, see through the forest, beat the thesaurus, words, metamorphosis, metaphysics. Use of eucalyptus, to the sickness, write the scriptures, paint the pictures, bear witness, be alive, be the one to survive, be the one to strive, chosen one to arrive, never die, never born, you the calm, you the storm, keep searching for the truth, son, you get warm, getting hot, you're fire like you're not, blood dripping off the car, made you stronger, you a rock, you a shock to the system, a lot of resistance, believe for the victims, one love for the children, now, make some noise for Jack, y'all. Make some noise for my sons, my three sons right here. Yeah. Hey yo, my name's Tim Bless. I'm gonna be doing a workshop later on. I'm gonna be showing you guys a video later for the Youth Ambassador Program. Like yourself, doing amazing work. Hey man, I'm excited. I love coming here because I got so much hope and I have so much belief that we're gonna do it. So I think kind of like the only time is now. So we already won. You all go out and do the work that you need to do. We already won. It's just a matter of time, right? And it's because of folks like you. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Brian Stilwell. Brian Stilwell is the Northeast Program Director of ACE, Alliance for Climate Education. Brian Stilwell joined, ACE, joined the ACE team in 2011 and became an Associate Program Director in 2013. During this time at ACE, Brian has directly educated more than 65,000 high school students with ACE assemblies and trained more than 800 youth leaders. A graduate of Cornell University with a dual degree in natural resources and biology and, soci and society, Brian has experienced working on climate change with organizations ranging from the Sierra Club to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. ACE is the, national, is the national leader in high school climate science education and leadership development, providing an award-winning assembly on climate science and solutions in an active fellowship program that trains young people to become active, to become effective climate justice activists. Founded in 2008, ACE has reached more than 1.9 million students with their assembly programs and trained thousands of young activists. Here's Brian. Oh, oh, there it is. All right, what's up, everyone? Thank you, Climate Summit. I am so excited to be here. Um, I came here from Boston, Massachusetts, and uh, Tem is also from Massachusetts, and Tem is one of my personal heroes. I saw his music, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's who I want to be when I grow up. Um, so I'm super psyched he's here today. Can we give him another round of applause? All right, so here's a question for you. Who is here at the Adirondack Youth Climate Summit for the first time? Whoa, look at all those hands. All right, so here's the thing. This is actually my fourth time back here, and it has blown my mind every time. There's so much energy. There's so many solutions that come up. It's amazing. It's magical. And so I think you guys are in for a treat. And, you know, if I can, I'd love to let you guys in a little secret here. And so... <laughs> I got this feeling that this summit is going to be the best summit ever. And you know how I know that? Please say, look around for a second. Just look around. I know, right? The coolest people in the world showed up, and they're all here right now. It's ridiculous. I'm so pumped. So if I know one thing about climate change, it's that we're not going to solve this alone, right? So you already met a new friend, Jen. How did you meet someone a second ago? I was just turn around again. Meet someone else new. Say hello. We're going to work together this weekend. You got to get this going on, right? I know. All right, so another thing I know is that it's early in the morning, so I want everyone to stand up for a second. Can you guys stand up? All right, here's the deal. I need everyone to reach up into the sky. You know why we're doing this? Because we got high goals. We're going to solve climate change this weekend. So we're going to reach up for those high goals. We 
know how we're going to do that? We already sound those grassroots, right? We're going to work with the grassroots to get it down to go ahead and reach down. All right, now go back for those high goals. Okay, so so far, you already like have high goals so like you made a new friend. And you know what? We got to celebrate that. So let's pretend we're at sports game. You just scored the winning goal. Take two hits. Give high fives to everyone around you. This is already awesome. Alright, thank you guys so much for playing along. You guys can settle back down in your seats now, get comfy. Alright, alright. So, if you haven't picked up on this, this is going to be a really fun week. Um, and so one of my philosophies is if we're going to solve climate change, we might as well have the most fun ever while doing it. We can totally have fun while we're solving climate change and taking this on. So, a little quick background on me. Like you said, my name is Brian Stowell. I'm here from Boston, and I'm so excited to be back. I work for the Alliance for Climate Education, and our organization really believes that young people, high school students, college students, are the solution to this problem. You guys already have all the tools you need to, to rock on this, and it's been young people who have always led social movements and made change. So we're all about investing in you guys and doing everything we can to empower you to work towards the solutions you care about. Now, I know you guys, you know, you self-selected to be here, you traveled really far, so a lot of you guys already know a lot about climate change. So what I'm going to do today, we have an assembly presentation we bring all over the country. Um, people like me show up at schools, we've given it to about 2 million students so far, which is really exciting. But that means there are, you know, more than 2 million young people out there thinking the same things as you, working on solutions. This movement's already happening, and you're a big part of it. Um, and so what I'm going to do is try to just frame the conference a little bit, right? We're all here to talk about climate change. So just get us on the same page. I'm going to go over the basic science of climate change in hopefully a really fun way. We'll talk about some of the impacts and like why we should care about it and how we could talk about this with our friends and families. Then we're going to focus on those solutions and just kind of have a highlight reel of some solutions just to get you in the mind frame of the conference. So we're the summit. So I'm just going to take a second, get all the tech set up, and we're going to dive right in. Yeah, sound. There we go. All right, so here we go. I'm going to dive right in. All right, so here's the deal. So a while back, scientists discovered that the Earth has this sort of giant thermostat that controls the temperature of the planet. And these days, that thermostat is being jacked up, way up. Why? When you get down to it, it all comes down to the choices you make every day. Hey, One really big choice that only your generation can make. How come? Well, in 2015, you've inherited the America that's all about. Live and large! <laughs> All right, no, not like that. Those some people are, I guess. Now, most of us are living large and don't even know it. What I mean is we're each taking up a ton of space. It's not that easy to see because we only cover a little bit of ground. Now, count your room and your stuff. You cover a little more. Count your home and, well, yeah, you take up some space. But then there's the space around the world you're using that you never see. Like the space in Iowa it takes to grow your food. Or in Brazil and China to get the materials to drive around. Or in the Middle East to get the fuel to get all the to drive around. And then once you're done taking up all this space, you get a lot of waste, right? So all that stuff you buy, use, and eventually throw away has to go somewhere. That takes up space too. All right, now let's be clear: not everyone in the U.S. takes up the same amount of space. The people who are living really large, well, they take up a lot more. And all this space, it really means resources. And on average, we in the U.S. use up about three times more resources per person than the rest of the world. Whew, it's a lot of resources. If you think about it, it's not really your fault, right? I mean, you were born into a world made by previous generations, so you kind of got stuck with living so large. Add that to the fact that ever since you've been like one, advertisers have been saying you'd be cool by having more, 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 making you want to live as large as you can. All right, but here's the deal. Living so large is cranking that giant planetary thermostat really quickly toward way too hot. Why? Because it takes a lot of energy to live so large, to move ourselves around, all our stuff around, to keep our homes and buildings and create electricity. We need energy, right? Our modern lives require energy. We don't really have a choice about that. But we do have a choice about where we get that energy from. So people have discovered many, many ways to create the energy we need. Energy can come from hydro, nuclear, or renewable sources like wind, solar, geothermal, or biofuels, 
But today, we actually get most of our energy from that last one, fossil fuels. So we get about 80% of all the energy we need right now from these fossil fuels. 